We have already questioned the quality of modern automotive designs by exploring fantastic cars and trucks with the classic looks. Now, the time has come to take a swing at the boxes on wheels that nowadays manufacturers dare to call SUVs. We'll be featuring the models from the past that were meticulously restored to deliver both aesthetic and driving pleasures. Original Broncos, Scouts, Rovers and Blazers are here to remind you that a family vehicle does not have to look generic and dull. Subscribe to Automotive Territory if you live and breathe the open road. Ring the bell to get notified about the next video and enjoy the ride! Chevrolet K5 Blazer by Icon all the SUVs presented in this episode are going to be unique and expensive, but if you're looking for a higher level of exclusivity, then take a look at the Icon's creation. This is the 1969 Chevy Blazer K5, dubbed as the Reformer. Originally built in 2015, the SUV is currently on sale for 235 kron, with mere 1200 miles on the odometer. The previous owner literally was afraid of driving it, as the Reformer was just too perfect. For this much money back in the day, of course, the refurbished blazer was completely disassembled, sandblasted, and then repleted with modern upgrades such as custom suspension with Atlas leaf springs, Curry sway bars, and Fox racing shocks and rebounds. From the outside, the 50-year-old truck, painted in Fiat Blue Ocean, still retains its near factory appearance, with nickel-plated grille, custom-treated bumpers, and even a custom-made fuel tank. Finally, the power is derived from a 6.2-liter LS3 V8 with 430 horses and 424 pound-feet of torque. Ford Bronco by Velocity Restorations Florida-based Velocity Restorations Stuart Wilson and Brandon Seekers claim to be the biggest Ford Bronco buffs in America. Whether it's the case, you'll have to see for yourself by taking a look at the gorgeous classic models of the 1966 through 1977, restored to the mint condition or optionally enhanced with the modern comforts and supercharged power. Among the most impressive modifications is the installation of a 5.0-liter Coyote V8 crate engine that could be additionally force-fed by a Whipple 2.9-liter supercharger. Further upgrades include but not limited to JW speaker LED headlights, raised suspension, new bumpers, new axles front and rear, performance exhaust, and custom paint. As for the fully reimagined interior, it features high-grade Italian leathers, kicker sound system, vintage air AC system, and digital instrumentation. Retro Series Scout 2 by New Legend 4x4 this i1 auto shop exclusively specializes in restoring original International Harvest Scout off-roaders built between 1960s and 1980s. Each model that comes out of the garage is absolutely unique, since the company's founder, Sean Barber, cooperates with the customers to create exclusive vehicles based on the carefully selected Scout trucks and SUVs. Currently, the company offers three restoration levels – Base Runner, Mid-Tier Retro, and the Top of the Line Legend. The Retro series keeps the original frame and body that get heavily restored and repaired. It also features a new full-family roll cage, brakes, and fuel system with a 30-gallon tank. The mechanical parts are replaced altogether, so the resulting SUV comes powered by a new 350-horsepower LS engine and 4-speed automatic. Among the new legend's most recent retro builds is the Viper Red Devil that you are seeing in front of you. It gets a removable hardtop, air conditioning, cruise control, and a new stereo system. Range Rover Classic Project Gun if you're a fan of British four-wheel drive cars, then be careful, as the restoration enthusiasts from the ECD Automotive Design know how to make you dig into your purse. Based on the Range Rover Classic County LWB, the Project Gun retains the classic exterior of the long wheelbase truck and stuffs it with modern amenities. The Alpine white SUV with a cool glass black roof boasts automatic LED headlights, 18-inch can defend wheels, and Borla performance exhaust. Inside, there is a fully reupholstered Torino Salsa red leather interior and a set of Dakota digital gauges. The custom adjustable air ride suspension and the underhood surgery took most of the 2200 man hour restoration. The 6.2-liter V8 mil delivers 403 horsepower and 417 pound-feet of torque through a 6-speed automatic transmission. Lamborghini LM002 The Urus might be the only super SUV in the current Lamborghini lineup, but the title of the first-born sport utility by the Italian brand belongs to the LM002. 
This vehicle was created as a part of the Lamborghini Militari series, produced between 1986 and 1983. Though the folks in Camo weren't impressed with the truck, 328 non-military versions, dubbed Rambo Lambos, entered garages of civilians. The buyers had two front mountain engine choices, a 5.2-liter V12 or a more powerful 7.2-liter marine V12, which back in the day was more commonly installed on the powerboats. In order to cope with the performance demands of the truck, Lambo had to commission Pirelli to manufacture special Pirelli Scorpion tires with custom run-flat truck design which could handle high speeds and desert temperatures. The interior was decorated with luxury leathers, air conditioning, tinted power windows and premium audio system. Toyota Land Cruiser Icon FG40 Roadster at the 2019 SEMA show, the California-based Icon unveiled the modern interpretation of the classic Toyota FJ Land Cruiser. With no doors, no heater and no air conditioning, and though for less weight, the Icon FJ40 Roadster aims at true fans of the old-school 4x4. But despite its bare-bones appearance and scarce dashboard tech, the truck still has standard heated seats and smartphone connectivity. Under the skin, it also hides plenty of thought-out treatments. For example, the Art Morrison chassis features front and rear curry anti-rock sway bars, while handling is insured by Fox Racing shocks and Brembo brakes. The Roadster gets custom-built Dana 60 rear and Dana 44 front axle with optional air locking differentials. Finally, to justify the starting price of $185,000, the Icon equipped their 4x4 truck with the latest 6.2-liter GMV8 that produces 430 HP and 450 pound-feet of torque. Would you agree that these SUVs look much better than what the modern market has to offer? Make sure to evaluate the entire lineup before making the decision and let us know about your favorite model in the comments below. Leave a like and let's get back to it! Ares Design Land Rover Defender since it is sports cars that are bread and butter of this Madonna tuner, it came as a surprise to everyone that the company released their own bespoke version of the Land Rover Defender in 2018. Limited to just 53 units, the legendary off-roader was fully overhauled, receiving a new body kit, a more luxurious interior package, and a pumped powertrain. The original 4.5-liter V8 was reworked thoroughly, featuring new camshafts, updated cylinder heads, and larger bore size, resulting in 4.8-liter displacement. This entry-level version of the engine delivered 282 horses and 325 pound-feet, but the truly power-hungry customers could also opt for the supercharged mill with 475 HP and 479 pound-feet. Naturally, the six-speed automatic gearbox sends power to all four wheels, while the V8's breathing was made easier by the Miltec exhausts and ITG air intakes. The Defender also got new AP racing brakes, a reworked suspension setup with Fox shocks, and finally, leather and carbon fiber clad interior. Toyota FJ62 by FJ Company Based on the 1988 Land Cruiser 60 series, this is one of the youngest restorations performed by FJ Company. The custom-built SUV boasts plenty of the original components and keeps the classy two-tone exterior styling that actually debuted on the 1988 model. Its suspension receives an upgrade with the kids from Old Man Ammo, while the authentic powertrain, including the 4.0-liter engine and the 4-speed gearbox, is rebuilt using OEM parts. All four-wheel drive components are also restored. Same goes for the wheels, which are now dressed in 33-inch BF Goodrich all-terrain tires, and the interior that combines the familiar old-school looks with modern tech. Mercedes-Benz G-Class by Expedition Motor Company the G-Wagon is one of the oldest Mercedes models still in production, and even though today Germans offer an insanely powerful and fast version of the truck, the designs of 1990s remain incredibly popular and have become a kind of cult vehicles. To satisfy the demand for the ageless icon, the Expedition Motor Company sources ex-military vehicle spending 1,000 man-hours to restore each 250 GD Wolf. These units are a turnkey solution, spec'd according to the customer's needs, from a daily driver to an extreme safari vehicle. The gallant wagons and line 2.5 or 2.95 cylinder engines are rebuilt. The transmission gets a bunch of new components, while the suspension is enhanced with the modern springs and shock absorbers. 
Bear in mind that besides the custom projects, the New Jersey-based TMC carries a wide palette of already built convertible SUVs starting at around $92,000. Land Rover Defender Zen by Arconic The UK-headquartered Arconic is one of the most famous companies that restore and modernize old Land Rover Defenders. Since entering the American market in 2016, Arconic has built over 250 unique models, including the soft-top Zen based on the 1992 Defender 90. The stunning SUV with the midnight blue exterior and 16-inch B-lock wheels gets a full restoration. The frame is etched primed, raptor coated, and fitted with Arconic cellular dynamic suspension, while the original 200 TDI engine and 5 speed manual are rebuilt and reconditioned. The bodywork is repaired to perfection, though you will notice new side steps, door handles, and air intakes. The grill gets the KBX signature light surrounds, plus there are new LED headlights and URLs. Inside, Zen is upholstered with brown Nepal leather and is fitted with the latest comfort and convenience tech, including AC, Pioneer touchscreen with Apple CarPlay, new instrument cluster, and GPS security. Ford Bronco R the arrival of the all-new Bronco is imminent sometime in 2020, but Ford could not avoid teasing its fans with a prototype while at the same time commemorating the 50th anniversary of Rod Hull's historic Baja 1000 win. This trophy truck was built by Ford Performance Division, Geyser Bros Design and Development, and the 2018 Baja 1000 winner Cameron Steele. The off-roader features stock components like the twin-turbo EcoBoost V6, a paddle-shifted automatic, a transfer case, and a front differential. In turn, the specialists provided custom T6 BOF chassis, race exhaust, rear differential, Fox shocks that travel up to 14 and 18 inches front and back, 17-inch beadlock wheels, and 37-inch tires. Unfortunately, since the team had only 5 months to design the vehicle from scratch, the lack of testing resulting in subpar performance during the race. While the Ford production components held their own, the electrical and cooling systems failed, so the Bronco R had to retire covering only 580 miles. Let's imagine that these SUVs do not cost a fortune and are sold alongside modern models at a dealership. Which design would you choose? Share your personal stories about the models from the lineup if they were a significant part of your life back in the day. Subscribe to Automotive Territory and check out classic cars and trucks by following the links on the screen. As always, may the torque be with you!